<sighs> a duly chastised Damon says, greetings, gentle viewers. A completely unchastised Billy says, howdy, howdy. We said in the last episode we were going to try and get through this free day as fast as possible, and we meant it. Of course, we have completely failed to the surprise of who? Who? Literally no one! Speaking of failing, something something yada yada, we're the better sweet gamers. I'm selling twos! And I we squared! Well, you know what they say about intentions and the pathway to hell. Let's talk to Gaius! Oh! How's it going, Reen? It was nice talking to you and Elliot the other day. I'm actually going in your direction at the moment. I'm needed in the capital. Needed, is it? I also know that Thomas is there and Rosine will be there. Is that why you're needed? Oh, that's unrelated. Feeling the wind through the train window and talking to you makes our field study in Nord feel like it was just yesterday. Well, not everything's the same. Lamar showed me how much you've improved your skills since then. It made me think of the future. And with the future in mind, I'd like to start training again from the basics. Let's go through Einhell Keep. No! <laughs> That's what we're gonna do! Hey, guys. Wow, Reen, you called so soon after my message. Why wait? I actually know a good spot for you at the branch campus. If you can, why not stop by Leaves? We'll hit up the old cube house. I'd like that, and I'm pretty close, as it happens. Is it because you happen to have an airship? Like a Merkabah-class <laughs> Dominion airship that can fly around wherever you need to fairly quickly? As it happens. How about we meet at the station? Sounds good. Ah, so this is Leaves, and that must be the branch campus over there. I've always wanted to come here, but I never thought it would be like this. Well, either way, it's good to have you here, guys. Oh, right, and Zeo, too. <laughs> I'm really missing him from in your crafts. <laughs> As you can see, he came too. So, where is this training place you spoke of? Something cube house? Uh, it's at the campus. Here, I'll show you the way. It looks like a giant cube, and it's the old schoolhouse. <laughs> I'd say minus the fiends, but, well, <laughs> man has had us fight fiends there before. Reen and Gaius went to the campus to visit Einhell Keep and asked Professor Schmidt for permission to use it for training. So this is what the inside of the keep looks like. The air in here is churning with the breath of powerful monsters. I can see why you guys use it for training. Yeah, this route may not be that long, but it's certainly no walk in the park. At least there's two of us, so it'll be quite easy. <laughs> with the two of us, this will be a breeze. Let's do this together. This will be a breeze. <laughs> now, let's begin our search. Oh, one of those, huh? There's our foe. Let's cut straight through it. Wow, Billy. I can't believe that you can see. While we were running through the crummy little encounters in Einhell Keep, the cat decided to jump right up next to the microphone, <laughs> demand attention, and ultimately fall asleep. And he's right in front of Billy's face. Yes, he is. It's very inconvenient. Well, if you can't read anything, so be it. Let's get the boss. This one's strong. Be careful. This will be kind of rough for just two people. Let's go. Oh, the cat is interested in the flying monsters moving fast. <laughs> He's Robin. jumping over to the TV now. <laughs> He's in pounce mode. Those aren't food. Whew. Everyone okay? For goodness sake. <laughs> Those are some tenacious dragon things. I knew we were going to win, but I thought we'd have to work for it and... We did. <laughs> Most bosses aren't that hard because, you know, we just break them and crush them. Well, that's the difference between like one and two and four people. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna laugh at how pathetic that was because that was they're pretty strong. Sure, but we were stronger. Thanks, Green. I needed a little training. That's it for the level three, Subroot. Huh. You made better time than I expected. I thought you were in for more of a struggle. We did struggle, to be fair. I'll have to crank things up next time. Now, if you'd be so kind, get out. Every time. Does he ever wake up on the right side of the bed? Anyway. Yeah? Let's uh, get to what really matters. What's up, Reen? <laughs> Nothing. I was just thinking about how good it is to be working with you again. <laughs> do you believe me? Our training in the keep is done. What are you going to do now? 
Well, I have some time until my train arrives, so I thought I'd look around the school just like every other person you bring here. Yeah, great minds think alike. I was gonna ask if you wanted the tour. Lindy works here too, by the way, in a medical department. Was she really? I haven't seen her since my days in the art club. It seems the winds have deemed a reunion as an order. In that case, mind showing me around? Especially if we can have a really interesting talk later. With Rosine? <laughs> <laughs> Away we go! <laughs> See? Look at the chapel here. Doesn't it make sense that he would show Gaius the chapel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After leaving the keep, the two of them walked around the school for a while, and finally headed to the medical office to see Lindy. Darn it! I didn't want this club talk! Right? I wanted something cryptic! They got their wounds from the keep treated while the two art club members caught up. Afterwards, they all relaxed while sharing some Nord tea Gaius had brought with him. I see. A medical college in Crossbell, huh? You really have grown, Lindy. Oh, not nearly as much as you, Gaius. Did you get a chance to go to the sculpture exhibit Clara held in Heimdall last year? Unfortunately, no. I wanted to go, but I was in a far-off place on an important errand. How oh, is that so? I heard she's really gaining fame as a talented young artist, so I'd like to go see one of her exhibitions eventually. Clara? I remember always seeing her hold up in the art room, working on her sculptures, rain or shine. One of her sculptures is in Aurelia's office. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that myself. Do both of you guys still paint? Yeah, I actually did a lot of painting over the last year. I've got quite a few pieces now. Let me know when you have some time and I'll show you. <laughs> I don't have much free time these days, but I would like to start painting again. Yes? Hello? Oh, right. A shipping company. What? Okay, understood. I'll head over and pick it up right away. Medical supplies, maybe? I'm just saying, what does this have to do with this event? Maybe it's to get the pink-haired nurse out of the way so Reen can accuse Gaius. <laughs> oh, did something happen? Sorry, the medical supplies I ordered have been delivered, so I'll have to step out for a moment and get them put away. Ah, understood. There's still a while before I have to go, so take your time. I see even those outside of Class 7 are hard at work. Yep, everyone's really put their all into the paths they've chosen. I see. Well, I'll have to make sure I keep pace with them. For some reason, I don't think that's going to be a problem. For you, Reen. For Lindy. And for Zio, who's been watching over me from the great sky above. Zio, huh? <laughs> They say that a <laughs> wise falcon hides its claws. Oh, yeah? And I get the feeling you are, and have been, the same way. Now, why would you say that? Well, I don't have any proof, <laughs> but while we were in the keep earlier, I felt something gentle, yet powerful. Some power you didn't have before. I think your new strength is backed by whatever this power is. Oh, yeah? Though so I, Reen Schwarzer, <laughs> cannot really figure out what it could be. I get the feeling that Trails veterans might have a pretty decent idea. I see. Your intuition is impressive as always. Allow me to spill everything! More like nothing! Oh, that's Barkhorn. Oh. So Barkhorn was the guy who trained him. We never got to see him. We just heard about him. He's another one of the Dominions. I see. But he was the one who was inspirational to Gaius when Gaius was a kid. And Nord, that's how they got their education, was traveling priests. Right, right. Reen, I... Hold on. You don't have to tell me right now. Oh, now you're teasing. Sorry, I, I wasn't trying to force it out of you or anything. I'm positive you have a good reason for not telling me. You did say just the other day that you'd tell us all at the same time, so there's no reason not to wait till then. <laughs> yes. It would be irresponsible of me to hear about it by myself. Reen. To be honest, I'm still sorting out my feelings about it. About this sudden change in me. I'm worried others may no longer accept me. I don't think that's going to be the problem. A change, huh? 
<laughs> well, it has been a year. Of course you're gonna change. <laughs> no matter what happens, you'll always be you. An important friend of mine who's called Erebonia his second home. Thank you, Reen. Those words are very comforting to hear. And again, I promise, when the time is right, I'll tell all of you in Class 7 everything. All right. When that time comes, we'll hear you out. He's obviously had the stigma in some way for some reason for a long time, and again, Barkhorn being around was likely very helpful for that. It's very possible that where he got the stigma from could have been related to a case Barkhorn was working on. In all likelihood, that is how it works. Very, very specifically how it works. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was suppressed or something like that for a long time just because he was so young. They were like, we can't have someone this young suffer like that Yeah, if we can help it. The day we'll all see each other again is near. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you all then about the road I've traveled. Okay, very good. I am looking forward to it. Me too, me too. Afterwards, Lindy returned and they all had a pleasant cup of tea until the train arrived. Reen promised Gaius they'd see each other again soon and saw him off at the train station. Cryptic! <laughs> Cryptic stuff out of the way. Now let's go watch Altina. Ah, okay. Is that like a purse? Little black rabbit doll? Huh, not bad. It's like a radio. Yeah, or hey, like a camera. Hey, Altina, what the heck is that in your hand? Millium forced this on me as we said goodbye after our last field exercise. It's a toy camera she obtained during a mission in the countryside. Oh, it's shaped just like a black rabbit. It's perfect for you. So it's a gift for Millium then? Do you like it? Not necessarily. Functionally speaking, it is no different from the Arcus 2's camera. But when giving it to me, Millium said, I'm stoked to see all your pics. Take a bunch and show them to me next time. <laughs> if I ignore her, it may prove problematic. Altina could just take pictures with her Arcus and send them to Millium. In a way, is this condescending? Not the picture thing, but giving her a black rabbit shaped camera. And I just remember something that my grandmother said. She had like two or three elephants uh -huh. from when she visited India. Mm -hmm. Then everybody started giving her elephants, and then because they saw the elephants, they thought she liked elephants, so more people gave, people gave her more elephants, and she was like, I don't care about elephants. In fact, I'd kind of like something else. Well, I think that's a common mistake to make. You know, you go into someone's house and you see a lot of a specific thing, you kind of start to think that maybe they like that thing. Well, maybe they don't. Does Altina actually like all the black rabbit stuff, or is it just patronizing? I guess it depends on how she takes it. Well, that's Surely what... Milliam didn't intend it like that. Well, be sure to stay safe while you take your pictures. Like, if one of those kids fishing behind you whacks you in the back of the head with a rod, <gasps> you drop your camera in, and then you dive in after it, realize that even though you're in the swimming club, you can't swim, and drown <laughs> or devour by one of the blue marlins or whatever that lives here. <laughs> that was a very specific scenario you I, just thought of. I suppose that probably isn't going to happen, but still. Very well, you don't need to worry. Now, what should my next target be? Huh, pictures, eh? If you're planning on taking some pictures, mind if I tag along? I'm a bit curious to see what sort of shots you can take with a toy camera. I don't mind. I would appreciate your input on where I might find suitable locations for pictures. Sure thing. I think I can help you out there. Let's get going, then. And so Altina learns aesthetics? <laughs> Reed and Altina decided to go around the campus snapping pictures. Well, it kind of is something she needs to learn, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you should have got him actually running the cash register. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is kind of cute, her holding up a rabbit to her face. Yeah! <laughs> Adorable. Okay, I took the picture. Of course she took one of Reem. Let's see. 
Hey, not bad. No glasses. <laughs> the picture quality isn't great, but that gives it its own unique charm. Typical of a toy camera, its basic specs and functions are limited, but I suppose it wasn't a bad gift, all things considered. By the way, if there's a black rabbit camera, is there a white rabbit version too? Yes, it seems that way. I do not know how Millie finds things like this. Well, that's all. Well, what's that? Milliam took it when giving me this camera. As always, he's extremely pushy. I can't help but notice you're smiling in the picture, Altina. Just hey, saying. A very faint smile, but it is there. Also, seeing them next to each other like that, even accounting for things like standing on toes, Milliam is a little taller. Or rather, I should say, noticeably taller. Yeah. She said she grew a little, but, well, I guess she is older than Altina? Maybe? No, no she is. Altina's the newer model, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. And she always acts like my older sister, but I suppose I can't stop her. <laughs> she doesn't seem to dislike that, though. Millions' picture isn't bad, but the ones you took are pretty good, too, don't you think? You captured everyone's facial expressions well, and the pictures are soothing to look at. I mean, we went aw. Yeah. Is that so? It feels strange to think that I could take such pictures. No, I think these pictures came out the way they did because it was you who took them. You spent a lot of time now with the members of Class 7 and the others here at the branch campus. Uh, yes, maybe so. While looking through all Tina's pictures, Reen realized there wasn't a single one with her in it. So he gathered up the other members of Class 7, as well as the swimming club, to all take a group picture together. Oh. Say cheese! Uh, I guess I'm like that now that I think about it. Don't really have, like, any pictures of myself. Nobody ever really took pictures of me. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that same smile. What is it, Instructor? No, no, it's nothing. <laughs> All of you look great. Not going to make her look self be self-conscious. I'm sure Millian will be thrilled to see this. Huh? Well, that's good. Might <laughs> want to show one to Leonora, too, if he gets a chance. Oh, yeah, she was asking about that. Come on, Instructor, get in here. Coming. Afterwards, they promised to print copies of the photo for everyone before going their separate ways. Hey, Wayne, uh, somehow stuffed palms don't seem like your thing. Hmm, this looks good. Wayne, a gift for someone? Oh, oh hello, Instructor Reen. Uh, yes, I have a sister who is two years younger than me. Oh, that makes sense. She told me she wanted some goods from this store. Uh, we did find out in one of the study events that Wayne's from Heimdall. Yep. Oh, so that's how it is. That's nice of you. <laughs> she wouldn't stop complaining if I declined, so I really have no choice in the matter. I should check my wallet before I go to ch Oh, no. There we go. There's <laughs> Wayne. I was beginning to worry for a second. What's wrong? <laughs> it, it's nothing. It's just I have a lot less money than I thought. I mean, I could save on lunch money if I asked Freddy for food, but... <laughs> Did do you want me to give you some money, man? It's, really, it's no problem. <laughs> never change, Wayne. Never, never change. Please be playable in the next game. Right? Okay, if I remember correctly, Liza has some kind of boyfriend troubles. Yeah. She wants us to go find her old boyfriend? Oh, her fiancé. She has to solve a riddle? Is Liza engaged to Blue Block? No, I don't think so. Yeah, Reen, it's probably a ring. It feels like this isn't the sort of thing that we should, you know, intrude in, but okay. <laughs> We're travelers first stop. So, the train station. Yeah, yeah. Why do we have to do this again? You know we're going to find another riddle, right? Oh, of course, because that's how it works. So Liza's fiancé, who was waiting for Reset to open and, ha and wasn't aware that it had already opened... 
Uh -huh. Nonetheless, visited leaves, made sure to not see her, and set up this puzzle. Yes. Well, he's a creative dude, I guess. <laughs> the House of the Shining Cup. The chapel? You know, this quest might be hard if not for the mini map. I said it was at the chapel because of the shining cup. No, you were right. You were right. Also, the sun, moon, stars motif. Mm. Just want to point that out again? That's a good point. I never noticed that. So this man Julian has been planning this for years. The keeper who watches from the hill? Uh... Oh, a big tree. Cool. This definitely would have been here two years ago. Quest guy thinks that was kind of an obscure clue, but the minimap exists. Two years ago, this Julian guy set up this entire <laughs> thing. See, I thought it was weird that he showed up to set the puzzle up, but he set it up two years ago. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like Reen is the one proposing here? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Like, he's the one handing over the ring and everything. Well, it's in the box, whatever that is. Maybe it'll be like a little surprise. I don't actually like you at all. Oh, God, that would be awful. Now, this is an interesting sentiment, but remember that he set it up two years ago. What was he expecting to happen? Right? Maybe he died a while back, and then she received a letter in the mail after his death. Jeez, that would suck! Well, he said, if he set all this stuff up two years ago, then he might have set the, le the letter to be delivered oh my God. on a certain date. That That's actually horrible! Well, this was inappropriate for Quest Guy. It all makes sense, considering that he figured he was going into war. Yeah. Quest guy is sorry he's so flippant about other people's grief. <sighs> if Monk's family has died too, then Quest guy can't even. The lead actors in Monk's radio drama have been poisoned? Did they die? I hope they didn't die. Oh! Please, Reed, carry on the torch of Monk's dead actor. They're not dead! You don't know that. Oh, the grief. Oh, the suffering! Why is Quest Guy even alive? Now Monk's baby is dead too! What is wrong with you? It's just really difficult right now. Hold on just a second here. Are you telling me that Monk has been working on the story for his radio drama, which is a harem story? where the heroine changes every episode, and Reen himself is the main character. Dude, isn't this some kind of pathetic hero work? Oh no! Reen is dying too! Everyone we know is dying! How can we go on? Quest Guy. Yes? Is everything okay? Quest Guy is just getting into the spirit of the drama. Okay. So how was it? My blazing, passionate acting! Okay. Know who you have in mind. You know, most people who write fiction, it's fiction. You know what fiction is? It's things that aren't real. You know what's not real about what you've said? The name. Except for Reese. Except for Reese. You almost spelled it right, too. Meant for the engineer, back for the merchant, Lindy for the med student, Rosine for the sister, right? Okay. I want to ask Rosine just to see her reaction. So we thought about it for one second and then decided on Rosine. What's wrong, Reen? It looks like something's bothering you. Ah, you are sharp as always. A heroine role for a radio drama. A sister who belongs to a secret order of knights. Rosine told me that I'm the only one who knows that she's Grawl's Ritter. So did Monk find out? <laughs> Uh, Monk had a request that's really dumb. Are you for serious? Since I have duties in the morning, I don't listen to that show. But even so... I think it's just a coincidence that it's about the secret knights of the church. Oh, I hope so. I'd hate to have to kill Monk. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I think, what was it, Red Moon Rose? Didn't they? Wasn't there a similar storyline in that? 
about kind of this secret knights of the church? I heard the church allows it as a diversion. As in the thing that is said about in Red Moon Rose, which is really straight up hinting towards the actual thing. Right. Well, a lot of the books are like that in Well, trail. yeah, of, of course, of course. I'm, I'm just saying, if you're peddling a conspiracy theory, one of the things that you can say is that, aha, the agency that we are saying is conspiring allows us to say this because they think it undermines their position, <laughs> or our position. It, I'm talking in circles and don't quite understand what I'm saying, but that's like conspiracy theories. So anyway. <laughs> in any case, I understand. I'll ask permission for my superior. If it's approved, I'll do it. Her superior, eh? Is she talking about who I think she's talking about? As a side note, the idea of the church's secret order of knights was borrowed from Red Moon Rose. Do you believe me? Plenty of people know about the Grawls Ritter, but... It, it's fine if they don't mind that you know. Maybe the radio guy shouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Reed and Rosine gave fitting portrayals for the roles of the protagonist and heroine. And although there were some hiccups, the recording went very smoothly. All that was left was to record the climactic scene! Okay, next is the climactic scene in the old castle at night. Reese, as a knight of the church, is trying to prevent the demon that was sealed away during the Dark Ages from reviving. Didn't we do that kind of in the Civil War? We had a Grawls Ritter there, too. <laughs> Though you and Noin have been at odds up till now, you join forces to defeat the demon. I'll let you two figure out how you want to do this. What do you mean you let us two figure out how we want to do it? Isn't there a script? <laughs> Aren't we just supposed to follow the script? It's up to us, huh? Rosine, you got this? <laughs> let our imaginations run wild. I'll use my crossbow to draw their attention. Noin, use that opening too. No, that's my job. I'll draw their attention. Uh, just listen to me. No, you listen to me. This is the finale. The demon has risen. They use their secret skills and spells to seal the demon away. But Reese becomes possessed. Reese calls out to Noin, telling him to kill her while the demon is trapped inside her. No! Quest guy knew it! This just a coincidence? It seems too real. Has this happened before? <laughs> I'd better concentrate on the show if I were the heroine. Oh! We get to pick it! I think the top one is more dramatic. A hundred percent! That is absolutely the correct answer. I will lop off my foot with a hacksaw if it's wrong. Oh god! <laughs> I have dedicated my blood and body to the souls of the goddess. It's an honor to take evil down with me, so please. The Drawls Ritter, if the rumors I heard were true. No, forget that. I, I need to concentrate. If I were in this situation... Hmm. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So the top one is like, no, you're wrong. Don't be so quick to throw your life away, something like that. And the bottom one is like... Maybe trying to egg her on to fight it? Yeah, like, is that really how you feel? And look, it, Rian's the protagonist, right? Yeah. What would Rian do in this situation? Wouldn't it be that? Yes. Wouldn't it yes. be like, admit it to me. Admit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to talk about lopping my foot off with a hacksaw on this one, though. <laughs> the other one, yes. This one, no. <laughs> how disappointing. Were the rumors about the Knights of the Church false? Are you going to give up now and forsake all the lives you can save in the future? <gasps> That's right. I'm... S-Craft! And cut! That was perfect! You guys were perfect together! <laughs> oh, that's good. That was a little too realistic. Ah. <laughs> uh. When the setting is so far from reality, I can really get into the acting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Said Rosine. <laughs> when the setting is so far from reality... Got it! <laughs> 
Thank you both so much. We're going to start editing it now, but I think it's going to turn out as great as the other episodes. I'm not so sure we'll match up to the real thing. To be honest, I had reservations at first, but fiction can be fun. Good to hear it! I thought the scenario was so far from reality, I'd get in trouble with the Septian Church, but I figured since Red Moon Rose set the precedent, it was okay to do this. Oh, I see. Far from reality, huh? Anyway, it was no coincidence you asked us to play these characters, huh? I don't know what you're... Uh, mm. The way they spoke was very similar to us. Though some of the details were a little different. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Monk. You're exactly right. You admitted it after three games? You admit that you just steal material from the lives of people close to you? I described your mannerisms to the script writer while adding a splash of flavor. I just thought modeling the main characters after you two would make a really good story. I figured that was the case. I believe I'll have to let my higher-ups know about this drama. I was thinking about telling my students about it, but it might be a little too mature for them. I like how Rosine is actually getting into it and really enjoys this. Uh, yeah, but it might be good for your older students at least. <laughs> wow! Well, heck yeah! Heh, <laughs> heh, Your foot is safe for another day. Now I just need to wait for the signal, then I'll... Well, good luck! Good luck with what? <laughs> oh no, it, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what this means. Either she's getting transferred to Class 7, or at the very least, she's just going to be running around with us. That'd be pretty awesome. I would like to use her in combat. Yeah, no bonding levels, so I guess she's not going to be transferred. <sighs> Let's break up all the run around -y. With some robot fighty! Woohoo! It looks like we'll be up against both Instructor Reen and Instructor Randy, so we're going to go Unicurt Nash. Musei's partner abilities is too good. It's too good. She's pretty good in battle, but her partner ability is just too good. Now, bring it on! You better be ready! Oh boy! I like how they were kind enough to Did let us... Did you data from the last time we fought him? Yes. Yeah! Go! Go! Our chance! It's mine! Go! go. Gonna have to go after the weak Very one well. first. <laughs> Sorry, Randy. <laughs> Oh, that's so mean. But compared to Valimar... <laughs> now, now, hold on a second. Go, go back to the uh, description. Piloted by Randolph when he was known as the Red Reaper while serving with the Jaeger. Well, there's a problem are... with that. What? A typo in side material in this game? What are you talking about? Soldats didn't exist when Randy was a Jaeger. Yeah, and <laughs> there were some typos and some thoroughly unenthusiastic localization in the dialogue leading up to this this battle. <laughs> oh. Randy actually has more hit points than Reed. Okay, who should I go after first? Then you should just go after Reed. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. I think you should. Sick! It's down! An opening! <laughs> Ow, no. knock it off! Yeah! Uh -huh. How do you know our weak point? All right! <laughs> well, they're the ones who've been training them. Yeah! God darn it! Uh -huh. Strike! Eat delay! I got this. No, it's at delay. One day someone will make you pay for your crimes. Yeah. That day is not today. I'll just top us off here. There! Really, the ability to heal trivializes everything. It if, does. If you could just have music. Ow! Now! Yeah! Sick! It's down! An opening! All right! If you could have Muse as a partner and Sarah as a partner, maybe Usus, uh -huh. you're fine. You can just keep yourself healed and utterly debilitate them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
very well. The thing is, though, is they're just not threatening enough. Well, you say that, but when's it going to be Muse's turn again? Oh, darn it's it. It's my turn. <laughs> there. <laughs> now. Ah, crap. Crimson Dale. Randy's taking his revenge for the Aurelia fight. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Didn't take her out though, so I uh, should be in good shape. See, it looks really bad, and I'm not gonna try to say that it's not per se. But if I delay Randy, uh -huh. and then when it comes to Kurt, I use a five brave point finisher uh -huh. that'll break Reen, and I'll still have Yuna before Randy comes up again. But that's hoping you can trigger it. It's true. Now, hate this. <laughs> That's what you get for being careless. Uh, wait a minute. If you use Shadow Rise, that means Muse able to get her turn before you know that she can heal everyone. I really have to hope that Reen gets broken if I do that, though, huh? Right? Yeah! Uh, Eight down. At once. Got it! I got it! Uh, there! Uh, it's mine! Uh, 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 of course, if this doesn't break him, Mistral then Blade. the unit's going down. Uh, 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 oh! There! Uh, now! An opening! Uh, oh, he wasn't targeting you now. Uh, now! An opening! Uh, I need to do something. Goodness! <laughs> oh God! Help me, Rain! For the love of God! Spirit, oh, just be healing. Just be Spirit. healing. Feels good. Take that! <clears throat> now! Yeah! <clears throat> Get back! <clears throat> oh. Sure. Oh no, everyone's defense is down. Oh, but they're gonna get a turn before the enemies can capitalize on it. Never mind. Right, but it's two turns. Oh, forget what I said then. Yeah! Take that! Ah. Now! Yeah! Uh. Oh no, here it comes. Now. Pretty hard battle. I know, I really like it. You get out of here. Take it away. I thought you just not do that anymore, Reed. You get out of here. Impede. Uh, there. Almost. Down. It's mine. So close. Good job. Huh. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's my turn. Oh, no. You cannot let him do that crap. Knock it off. Uh, yeah! Damn. It didn't matter at all. And now he's going now. to... Yeah! Oh, thank goodness. That was just follow-up attack. Yes! Look, look at that with the break. Oh my god, that's ridiculous! The utterly pointless. Utterly pointless in every way. I can't take in any advantage of it at all. Here I go! Uh, Dang it! I've got stuff I have to do! I don't- I don't have time to just keep impeding you! Frickin' stop! Uh, take that! Take that! Oh good, now. you did it on the full HP Hector. And the high defense Hector. Crimson Dale! Yeah, this is what I've got to do. They've got a finisher coming, I'm sure. But if I delay him and defense down him... Yeah. I mean, that's got to be good, right? I mean, you got enough people to take advantage of it, for one. Yeah! Now! Yeah! Doesn't matter what I want. There you go! What I have to do! 
There! It's just so close. There! Dang it! Well, that's that's it for you to. Enlightened domination! I think it only does 30,000 something. My turn! She's still barely hanging in there, man. All I've got to do is have the chance to attack two more stinking times. <laughs> but I cannot have a chance to attack twice. You're just always on the defense and recovering. I'm doing it. Go! 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 I didn't think it would. Sure. What a shot. At least the delay was effective. God, why? This is no good. <sighs> Take that! Now! Yeah! My turn. Now. I'm balancing! <laughs> That's what you get for being careless. What the hell is Very the well. problem? Don't worry, demon. I'm rooting for you because I'm not the one playing. Because that group craft is what hits everyone with defense down. Okay, so I don't know where to hit him when he's doing crescent slash. So I'll just have to aim for Randy. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> it's <That's> mine. Surprise. <laughs> there. Get back. <laughs> It's down! An opening! <laughs> it's my turn! And that also ran out his debuff, which I was right. counting on to beat it. Right. And at this point, even if I charge him to get the brave point, well, yeah, I'm just gonna do yeah. it. I was gonna say I wouldn't Wide be able it's to mine. survive <laughs> the follow-up attack even if it beats my him. Turn. And that's probably true. I'm gonna do it anyway now. I believe in you! There! At once! Got it! Okay! Uh, there! Ah. You know, these pods are sold out fights are so much harder because you can't use virtuoso meat pies. That's exactly <laughs> it! If we could just be chomping down on virtuoso meat pies in the cockpit, we'd easily be able to win! No, this has been like the hardest one and I'm not sure I'm not immediately about to lose. Are you serious? I don't have enough. If I had enough, then I could finish Reen off with art. But instead, well, he guess he can't take me out. Uh, uh, oh God! There! Yeah. Get it. Now! An opening! My turn. Okay. All, All right. right, you and your stinking three thousand and freaking <laughs> eighty. That was good. This is one of those skin of the teeth victories. It's my turn! Uh, as much as I would like to beat him up for the brave points... You gotta recover EP. I, I'm gonna die, so like, I can't do that. Oh. Here you go! <laughs> nice! <laughs> sure. Heal everyone! No, no. Heal self. I'm gonna use go. the fact that I'm only fighting one guy now to build My myself turn. back up. <laughs> Spirit! There! Uh -huh. Now! See, if I would have if I wouldn't have used Spirit, you wouldn't have had enough to survive. Crimson Jail! Right. <laughs> Oof. I got this. Oh well. He's gonna attack Yuna. I can't stop him. I'll just use an item then. Yeah, you actually have some repair stones now. I have for most of the game at this point. <laughs> Thanks. Man, items are so useful. My they have turn. Such low delay that you can go again. Items are really good. They've always been really good in trails. Okay. My turn. Now, I am <laughs> finally ready to go after him. I'll do this actually. Take that! Uh -huh. Now! Why you do this? 
Damn. Yeah, he's not uh, building up BP anymore. He's just going Crimson Gale, then Crimson it's Gale, then Crimson Gale. I don't like that. I don't want you to do it anymore. <laughs> Very well. Doesn't it make sense that, that Randy is seriously going after Yuna, though? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Yuni, time to give you some real training. Some tough love. <laughs> At this point, he can't exactly take anyone down. It's just a matter of wearing him down. Yeah! Go! Yeah! It's mine! Go! I still think he can actually get Go. lucky and take someone out, honestly. Go! Here I go! See? Here he, here he goes after Yuna again. Uh, 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 this is a really fun battle. Turn. I agree. Oh my gosh, he's still doing it. <laughs> Thanks. Take that. Uh, now. <laughs> Yeah, he's just straight up Crimson Gailing after every unbalance. Uh, okay! <laughs> I'ma use Void Breaker! Now, that's what you get for being careless. Go. That is what you get for being Very careless. Well. I'ma hit yeah. you like this! Go. It's down, it's mine! Go. Go. And then you just go finish him off! Go. Revenge! Wide open! <laughs> Take this, Instructor Randy! Rain Rush! Now. Okay, well, that was neat and all, but maybe what I should have done was make sure to finish him off. Go! <laughs> so this is it. Man, we had to work for that one. <laughs> Done already? Cost us two you material too. <laughs> After that horribly difficult, extremely entertaining battle, let's talk to one of the heroes of the day. <laughs> that you, Schwarza. Who do you think it is? How many times have you seen me? I'm always wearing the same thing. Why are you asking if it's me? I'm right in front of you. I'm reading a script. You're already patrolling your rounds? We just finished the test. Don't you gotta grade him or something? Someone seems to be in a good mood. Going somewhere on your bike? Well, the weather's nice, so I figured I'd just go cruising. Yes, I could always go to the entertainment district, too. Uh, no. We have a test at the keep today, so make sure you're reachable. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not to mention the promise I made. I should head back soon. Promise? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bike ride. Seems like a relaxing thing to do. Maybe I can get to know this guy. Hey, Ash, mind if I come with you? If I said yes, you'd still come anyway. Why would I want to go on a ride with you? Well, I'm tired from grading all the papers, and a bike ride sounds pretty awesome right now. If I bother you too much, you can always just ditch me, if you can. <laughs> sounds tempting. Well, I'm going to get going, so try to tag along if you'd like. I'll do what I can to keep up. Now it's time to race in the streets. Green took a bike out of the hangar and traveled down the road in pursuit of Ash. All the way right by the capital. <laughs> and now it's time to drag race. Maybe. <laughs> Good job catching up to me, even though you left later. I've been riding these since I was a student. It's not possible for you to have more experience than me at this, Ash. <laughs> this road that stretches out from leaves. It looks different when you're on a bike versus a train, huh? Haha, <laughs> casual awkward conversation. <laughs> you're right. So then, want to turn around at Heimdall and race each other back? Yeah, sure. Oh, what a rare sight it is to see people in the middle of the highway. Oh. Okay, what is this about? <laughs> Hello, you merchant? Yeah, I'm returning from Heimdall right now. Oh, is that one of them there horrible bikes? No, it's an horrible horse. <laughs> it's nice seeing two young friends out and about on the highway. Times sure have changed for the better. Nameless man, I'm doing a bonding event with Ash. <laughs> if that horse ain't talking, <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Not right now. Why are you here? <laughs> 
Ah, uh, we're not friends. Yeah, I know. Oh, now who's showing up? Huh? I thought this was a bonding event with Ash. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh! Ch oh. Never mind. Oh, do you do you know who it is? It's them. I don't remember what they were called. Should be three <gasps> of them. I remember you telling me about them. They're these kids from Calvert. Their parents are all like corporate CEOs or involved in government. They're all extremely wealthy. They were living in Crossbell for a while. Remember how I talked about like traffic cases mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, all that stuff had to do with these freaking kids. I despise these kids. I think everyone could tell from the tone of your voice. Do you remember that nice family that I liked that was living in the apartment in Crossbells, Bond and their and and his his airheaded wife Crail and the little pink haired daughter Sunita yeah. and and their cat Mary? Uh-huh. So when when that family still had the money to live in a really nice house in the wealthy part of town, that's where that's where Mary was a stray cat and Sunita adopted Mary. And, you know, tried to keep it a secret mm -hmm. from her parents until they found out and they were like oh sure you can have a kitty how nice <laughs> they were really happy about it well when they moved mary was confused cat, as cats do cat and so she went back to her old home you know her old territory these kids had moved in they were like oh look at this little cat and they tortured her they physically tortured the kitten reckless disregard for the lives of humans torturing animals do you think this is the first time they've nearly hit somebody? And they don't really ever get that much comeuppance. And then when they got, when they, when you finally like catch them in the act of doing something, like they're being lectured by the by the police in Crossbell. Oh, but because of how the law worked in Crossbell at the time, Crossbell was not legally allowed to charge citizens of Erebonia or Calvert with crimes, even if they commit them. That's ridiculous. So they were just sitting around going, yeah, well, you can't actually charge us with anything. So what are you doing? And so they were just mocking the police after nearly running people over. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ash needs to make the acquaintance of these folks. He will get along with them very, very, very much. But what if it's not them? Did I take all that back, but... These people still deserve to get beat up. Go back where you came from, you country pumpkin. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a heart attack. That was dangerous. Are they out of their minds? <laughs> Can't believe they did that. Ash, go do it. <laughs> they got some balls. Hey, Ash. Uh, no, <laughs> cheering for me. Or cheering for Ash here. <laughs> did you see that old fart? He was shaking in his boots. Man, nothing beats scaring off those carless country bumpkins. Hey, behind us! Huh? <laughs> huh? There's a guy back there! <laughs> that guy's pretty cocky. I'm gonna scare him off! <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Heh <laughs> eat this! What is he doing? Ash, stop! Hey, stay out of my way. I almost had him. You got it all wrong. I don't plan on getting in your way. Huh? But, huh? If we allow him to keep driving like that, they might cause a major accident. We need to stop them now, but we can't do anything too crazy. <laughs> So first you assume you know what I'm doing, and now you're telling me how to do it? Yeah, we just need to reduce the crazy. We can't wreck him in a ditch. <laughs> Fine! Give me a hand, Schwarza. All right. That, that's it? We chased after the car and told him to stop. Uh, right. And thus it goes on. All right, we try to get away. It's my turn. Pulls out the switch axe. <sighs> They're not slowing down. We have to stop them before they get back to Heimdall because Damon really wants us to kick their ass. Schwarza, there! That? Are you sure? Shut up! It's all we got! Get ready! Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> Damn it, screw you! Eat this! Y yo, watch out! Huh? Is it a stack of crates mysteriously in the road? In front! Oh! Ah! Later. <laughs> Go get your daddies to buy you a new car. One of the three, if it is them, one of the three was a little remorseful. Like, maybe we went too far. Well, that doesn't matter because he's still hanging with the others. Uh, yes, I agree, agreed. And the, the boss, he was awful. You dumbass, why would you turn like that? What? So you guys knew you were being reckless? You weren't just driving drunk? Yo, we meet again! You guys enjoy yourselves. The, oh, so you mean those delinquents that he was beating up before was actually that crew? Oh! Remember, those guys had actually tried to get violent with a girl. That's true, that's true. So Ash beat him up. Then they came after him again, and he beat him up again. <laughs> the Heimdall military police will be here soon to talk to you. You should cool down before they get here. But please, feel free to disregard his orders. Get lost. Get arrested. That has to be them. I'm sorry, Damon. I know you really wanted it to be those jerks from Calvert. Uh, it's just that if I see... Like that degree of inhumanity, disregard for other people? It's just like they would act. And there were three of them. <laughs> it would also be worth a bonding event. Ah. To go after those pieces of human trash. <laughs> Although praise was given to the Ash and Chevalier, we made sure it was known that Ash was the one who chased after the reckless drivers. It seems like the recognition made Ash a bit uncomfortable, but he accepted it nonetheless. Remember, kids, the next time you see someone drive recklessly, chase them down, wreck their car, and beat them up. That, no, don't do that. That is what you were being told to do. <laughs> uh, why'd you have to do that? You know I hate people fussing over me. Why wouldn't I? You're the one who caught them, so you deserve the credit. Oh, I would have preferred if you'd found a safer way to do it. Eh, yeah, well, I wasn't the one driving like a psycho. I'd say it's just desserts. Besides, it all turned out okay, so don't beat yourself up over... <sighs> Forget I said anything. <laughs> I can tell you've changed since the start of the year, Ash. You didn't go overboard when you tried to stop that car. Oh, I was about to till you said something. Well, yeah. <laughs> the Ash I first met probably would have totaled the car trying to stop him. Huh? No, I kind of totaled the car anyway, I guess. But... <laughs> Maybe. I don't really give a crap about what ifs, though. I just do whatever I feel like at the time. That includes being in your class. It's a damn pain, and you're always spouting off touchy-feely <laughs> stuff. But sometimes it's a little fun. Oh, best thing you ever said to me. Thanks. Keep up the good work, Ash. <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> God, you're such a loser. <laughs> Combinated stuff like this really hits the spot after a good run. Ah, Dr. Paper. Why are we always talking about Dr. Paper? <laughs> How did that actually happen? <laughs> oh, the flavor's a bit too sweet for me. I don't see any Dr. Paper in there. It looks like soup. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a Campbell soup can, doesn't it? I mean, there's some there's some coffee, some canned coffee on the left and like a paper zero right there, you know, like a Coke zero, but... <laughs> eh, but you're old enough to have the whole bar to pick from. I'm jealous. I am sure that a beer would taste pretty good right about now, but I am not going to drink in front of my students or during the day. Now that I'm thinking about it, though. Dr. Sarah never let either of those things stop her. Ah. <laughs> what a poor. Maybe, maybe I should learn from what my teacher was saying and just run around chugging beer in front of my <laughs> students all day long. What do you think? Is that a good idea? <laughs> then a shadow falls over him and it's like Michael standing there. <laughs> okay, seriously though, was I crazy? Was that them? 
or am I just here looking for these people that I hate, <laughs> wanting to hate them? <laughs> am I delusional? Am I a cynic filled with hate? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>